So, welcome back to Terrero in 1.2, guys. Um, I did keep myself occupied as I, you were gone. Um, see how this is like the day after last week's stuff. But, I did do quite a bit. Um, let's see, I don't think I have anything in this chest. But everything I did did not involve this chest. So, I don't think I got anything new. The only thing I did here is I moved all my chests over here. And I moved, the, I moved these ones up to uh, the gun guy. Because I had so many guns and arrows and junk that I had to actually um, separate them into two separate chests, which means I can actually take this one out. Let's just go ahead and take uh, take that out here and put that that away. I could st we did do another big boy world, so I did check around for another sandstorm in a bottle that is still not found. Just ridiculous. We're never going to find that stupid thing. It's the last, one of the very last things that I need. Just never going to find it. Absolutely ridiculous. Get rid of this crap. Oh, you know what I never did? I never did ch change my volumes, did I? How, how's the volumes to you guys? I bet you it's very, very low. So actually, um, before we continue, I'm just going to quick exit the world, go to settings, and make sure the volume's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, music, let's put this up too. Yeah, that was way low. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then the 5 before that, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 worlds that I have gone through trying to find a sandstorm in a bottle. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All I found, I think I found one pyramid. Now, one pyramid had a, another carpet. And I thought the carpet was like a stupid, stupid rare item. And I thought that, it, oh, oh, cool. I got this really cool thing that's going to be really awesome. And then I got a second one. <sighs> Yay. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Okay. So, why do I have a stone block? Get rid of that. Okay. So, oh, and I got furniture. I got a store. I think I had furniture. What is that up here? I think. Yeah, there we go. I also have to relearn the game a little bit because I've been playing a lot of StarCraft, or um, StarBound, so i got to relearn a few things. It's fu funny how that happens when you're playing a similar game and then you got to go back and completely relearn everything that you did. Oh, I did do one other thing that I did not mention. Um, because I was, I was considering making the background over at our little farm thing over there out of slime... I decided to make a little quick slime farm. Not slime slash bunny slash fish slash whatever. Just just slime. And it does work. Especially if I push the right button. But I decided against it. Because that was taking too long. It was it's it's fast. But it was taking a bit long. And I actually had to go to my old LP world to get this here um, statue. I don't actually have that statue. That surprised me. If you look here, um, I have boot, heart, bomb, fish, eyeball, goblin, bat, mushroom, crab, pot, armor, which you can actually make, sword, tree, sunflower, pillar, other oh, no, tree, the angel one, the star, the arrow, the pillar thing, the pick, the bird, but absolutely no slime. Oh, and over here I got the lady one. I got the cross one right there. Yeah, that, that's it. That's it. I, I don't... I had to actually go to another world to get the slime statue. It's actually kind of sad. Hoax six one-second timers to it, and it goes so fast. Yes, I know. I'm not that worried about it, though. Um, I just wanted to put that together really quick. So, you guys ready to see it? What I left you guys off with last time, saying I'm going to work on this and have it done before you guys get back. You guys remember what I'm talking about? I'm hoping you do. Because I put a lot of work into it. Oh, yeah. I so did. Well, let's start with Blow. Get over here. So, Blow, I said one thing I was going to do is completely fill it with lava. I did not lie on that front. Completely filled with lava to the point where my game is having a tough time rendering how much lava is there. Yeah. 
all lava. This entire thing has been blown up down to here and filled with lava. Uh, I did that up here. Uh, I, we actually, um, I didn't show this in the YouTube video, but we actually did fully set up a lava pump going all the way down to the nether. Not nether. You know, to, you know the hell biome thing. Um, let me go get the... Not that. Let me go get the uh, wire thing so you guys can see what actually is different. Just so you can see it. I should probably take out half these platforms. It's kind of pointless. But if you look here, I have a pump and I have wire. A lot of wire. Going all the way down to where that... Not there. To where the initial pool was uh, of lava that, that I said I was trying to um, get the lava out so I could start getting some ash and make this particular tunnel. Well, uh, remember how I said that that particular lava pool would never empty? Because it was too big. So it was actually duplicate. How did you get... How is stuff... This is all wall. Where are you spawning from, you derp... I so give up on trying to make it so that things don't spawn in here. It, I, I don't understand the game rule, game rules involved in that. It makes no dang sense. Okay. But, yes. Like I said, there was a pump that was sitting right here. And I was pumping it out from this pool over here. So there's a pump right there. Way over the... Oh, 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 don't, don't... Okay, uh, obsidian platforms, don't, don't push down. Don't push down. Down is bad. Down is very, very bad. That hurt. Okay. So, you... I, I got the pump set up. And it's going all the way up here. And it goes all the way to the surface. And, by the way, there is a 2,000 um, block maximum to these particular redstone wires. This is just just barely on the edge of the limit get off of me stupid thing so set that up and it does function um i have it set up to this particular little uh ticker right here let's just take it off of that so i can just click this on and it pumps lava like crazy and that just flows it flows down all the way over there i'm not gonna leave it on right now because there's no point in leaving it on uh, it does flow all the way over well, let's t just turn it on for a second so it can actually be seen functioning so like that you can see the lava flow i originally when we were doing this last week um for the people that were here in the stream i had the pump down here i moved it up to here so that the lava pours out faster it made a lot more sense and you can see all the way down here lows through here this this still works i can still turn this on and it still uh duplicates the lava a couple more times before it finishes so yeah i also went through and um if i can see this um i filled i i made sure that any holes that were in here are filled in but then i found out that that doesn't matter so um that was pointless but that was not the main thing that i did that was just th that was just the stuff on the side that i i figured out, i actually did went get, go to the wiki and i read the stuff that you need to do to actually make this thing work properly so my farm will actually function properly so i did it here's how spawn rate okay so first of all let me go give you guys a quick tour around this is all mud wall the entire blasted thing is a mud wall there's no platform down here so i can't even go down here right now to show you the bottom of it and this goes down about 50 55 blocks i don't remember how deep i actually went but it had to go down at least 45 and at 50 55 blocks from where i'm standing not from up there from here it's about 55 blocks and oh my this took so long oh this is about two hours of work i think at least two to three hours of work probably closer to three and oh man it's a good thing we got so many materials from digging this entire th well blowing up this entire thing because it helped it helped a lot so i did that 
Uh, now, here's how it works. Um, I did look it up, and this is how it actually functions. Mobs don't spawn the way that you... That, see, we were thinking in terms of, like, um, Minecraft spawning. Where, um, it, see, now in Minecraft, what it does is it chooses a random block and see, sees, hey, can I spawn here? Oh, if I can spawn here, let's just spawn here. Let's just make sure that there's an area above it, so it'll go, like, to... In Minecraft, let's say um, you're looking at, um... I don't actually have a block, do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's say in Minecraft, it was looking at this block right here, okay? So when it looks in this block, it would say, okay, can I spawn on top of this? Is this a spawnable area on this air block right here? Okay. Yes. Is there room above it for the mob that I'm trying to spawn? Yes. And then it would be like, okay, so let's spawn the mob. That's not how it works in Terraria. <laughs> Here's how it works in Terraria. Let's say it's going to check this block um, up. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's look. See where that cloud's going? Okay, let's say it checks this block right here. This is what it does. It says, okay, can I spawn anything in this air block? Yes. So now it goes, okay, let's go straight down and find a spot to put it. Is this a valid spot? Yes. Now it spawns it. So it actually checks in a vertical space. What we were doing before is we were we had this entire thing completely empty. So it would check this entire empty area and say, can I spawn something here? Yes. Okay, so let's go down and put, put the mob at the bottom of nowhere. That is why it didn't work, because it was actually checking for spawning spaces here and then plopping it down on the ground. So, yeah, that was completely wrong. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the actual length at which it'll, it'll check. It'll check 73 blocks away to the left or to the right from where you're standing to see if it can spawn there. Okay, so uh, I actually checked this out, and I checked it, I checked it starting from here. Okay, 73 blocks, actually I think it's 75 blocks from there, is right here. So I can stand anywhere inside this area and it'll spawn and it'll spawn all the way up to here without any issue. Which means all of this right here, this is pointless. They're never going to spawn here, ever. Also, the height of, the fact that there's platforms here, worthless. They don't spawn on the platforms. They check the area above the platforms to check down below it. It also means that if you want to make this thing more effective, you want to stand higher up, higher up in the air. Because the higher up you go, the more blocks above it it's going to check to see if it can spawn down below it. Finally, vertical blocks, it'll check... Let's see if I can remember this correctly. 42, blo 42 blocks vertically, up and down. So it'll check up 42 blocks, and it'll check down 42 blocks. So, like I said, the higher up you go... If you go, if I was standing 42 blocks above this level right here, then it would be the ideal conditions to actually spawn it. And it would spawn like crazy right here. Okay, that's that's the first two things. Okay? Not done yet. Because there's a third thing that was driving us absolutely crazy with this thing. And that was the guys spawning inside of here. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. Alright, I'm going to go up here. Remember, this is, this is a wall. So if there's a wall here, they should not spawn, right? Right. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna go up in the air, slowly come down. Oh, didn't do it that time. Let's get rid of these guys in a second here. Still didn't do it. Well. Regardless, it doesn't matter. You guys, you guys did see it when we were when we were running this thing. They do spawn in here because it's using the exact same properties that I just said. It's the, we're, math, there's no math involved in this. You guys keep saying, "Oh, there's so much math." There's just no math. I'm not. There's no math. It's just number of blocks that way and number of blocks that way. There's no math. What math? Okay. But here is, now physics, there's physics, there's no math. There's a difference. So here's what it's actually checking. It's not checking, can I spawn here? Yes, no, okay, spawn on here. It's checking, can I spawn up here? Yes, plop them down here in the honey. Which means, 
I would have to go about a hundred blocks in the air vertically and put blocks all the way up here to make it so that when we get away from this area, it see, there we go. Just spawned them right here. Because it checked the area above it and popped them down down here. Makes no sense. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this water at some point too. Isn't that weird? Isn't that just weird? But that does mean things are just gonna spawn in here because when we get to wave like what is it like wave seven, we're gonna be fighting that stupid boss thing, and I'm gonna have to move. And when I move, I'm gonna be going way up here, and then there's gonna be something spawning way down here, and it's gonna irritate the crap out of me. So what are you gonna do? Could I do the pumpkin moon on this area? Uh, I, we've done four of them. So, yes. Yes, we can. But. Um. One thing that people have been suggesting is that we do this with, um. Different tools. Magical tools. We can probably do that. Also, I don't know if I actually have any, um. Do I have any? I don't know how many, uh, ectoplasm I have left. I don't know if I got enough ectoplasm to make the next pumpkin moon. We can find out. Has, have I gotten the vampire knives yet? No. Twelve. I think that's enough. I think. So we got that. We got that. What was the last thing that we needed? Um, hold on. Where, where are you, buddy? Come here. Crafting. I, keep, I, keep, I haven't made this in a, in a week, so. Uh, pumpkins. Okay. Makes sense. So how many pumpkins I got? Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. Did I leave them over there? No. Here we go. I need 30 pumpkins. There we go. So now I can go over here. Pumpkin moon, pumpkin moon, pumpkin moon. Where are you? Where's the blasted thing? How many did... There it is. Yeah, it takes five. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. There we go. What am, I, what am I low on now? Oh, I, I put more pumpkins back. Okay. Let's make another one. There we go. Okay, we're going to put that over there. Uh, let me put the uh, ectoplasm and the hallowed bars back, because we don't need those yet. I really want to just put some dirt there right now. This tree has been the only thing I haven't altered this, in this entire area, and I just don't want to destroy it. I need some dirt there. Just to make it easier to travel up. Which I kind of have a little bit of. I think I could spare some dirt. That does also mean, by the way, like I was saying before, because of the prop. Well, thank you. You know. Give it up. Okay. Because of the properties of the game, that does mean that um, there is no way they're going to spawn in here. They can't. It's too far out. That This here is the maximum length that they can spawn at. So they're not going to spawn in there at all, which is good. We don't want them to. All right, so I'm going to uh, use the hammer to smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, that looks much better. Beautiful. Yeah. So I guess the next night was we're going to work on the pumpkin moon. Again. I, I could use some more of these shrooms, too. I've been, I've been working on that. But if these two pumpkin moons don't work, if I can't finish it, we are going to have to, um... Spooky Hook is not the best. Old, old Foot, it's... Spooky Hook is the best for length. Uh, I still like the Dual Hook. I have the Spooky Hook. Uh, the spooky hook. I don't use it. It's... In fact, I think I have two of them. Do I have one or two? I don't remember. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I got two. Two Spooky Hooks. I don't need them. Don't want them. Because I like the dual hook. The dual hook has so much more uh, value to me. 
Because um, when you get to this point in, in uh, leveling up, or in, in the game, the ability to have your hook go really far doesn't matter so much. But the ability to shoot two, two hooks simultaneously, that that's still good. I'm almost tempted to go back to the Ivy Whip, but the dual hook I, I use a lot more, so I like it. What do you mean it's still three hooks? No, it's not. Here, look. Oh, it is! Why did nobody tell me that? Okay, I'm an idiot. I am a complete and total idiot. The spooky hook is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. I, I, I am a total fool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we're, we're going to uh, just put the dual hook away now because um, we, we have two better ones. So let's just put this up here. I still like the dual hook's ability to shoot two at once. But yeah. I did not know this did this. So it's essentially a stupidly powerful Ivy Whip. Okay, cool. Yes, you guys can be right. You guys can be right. That's what this is where I'll do all, get all my learning done is playing with playing with you guys watching. All right. So next night we're going to do the the um, pumpkin moon again. I'm thinking. Still gotta fix this thing again, though. So annoying. Oh, 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 crap. That's right. We still gotta get one more thing. Icor. Oh, crap. Okay, so, um, we need to go do something in another world. So, let's do it. Um, first thing we're gonna do is, um, head over to a world with corruption. Because we need Icor. Which means I need to go beat the big boss in another world. Let's go to It's a Small World. I think this is a corrupt. I think this is a crimson world, right? Crimson, crimson. Yeah, this is a crimson world, which is what we need. Okay, so we need to go get something that you guys have not seen yet because um, it's in the crimson environment. There is something that is uh, that buffs your melee attacks by a ton, but you can only get it. If you go to a crimson environment in hard mode. So we're going to go here and we're going to go all the way. Wait, hold on. Oh, I already have a hold down to nothing. Okay, let's just go to the jungle and go, go over there. No, actually. No, we're going to do this because if I ever want some, some stone, I can just come here and dig out the wall. So this is actually going to have a, have a purpose. Could somebody look up uh, the Icor effect? Because I don't remember what it is exactly. I, I remember, uh, I have a general idea of what it is, but I don't remember exactly what it is. So somebody would be kind enough to post that into the chat. That's a, I don't have that one. Wow, that almost hurt. Um, where's my, what's this thing up here? Give me that. Give me that. Oh, there's another statue. Give me that. What's in here? Yay. Okay, get me back up here. Now, I want to keep digging straight down. So, right here. Icor reduces defense by 20. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Which is a, I, a significant difference. See, I'm already doing a lot of damage. But everything in the... In the, the um, what is it? The Pumpkin Moon has ridiculous defense. So if my melee attacks were, are actually able to penetrate the defense, we can actually do some serious damage with it. And I prefer doing melee. Uh, if this doesn't work, we're going to have to say, forget melee, we're going to have to switch to Magical Junk, because um, melee ain't working. But I would prefer to do me I would prefer melee. 
Get anybody who knows me in, in any game, I prefer anything but magic. I'm not a magical guy. I just don't care. It's not my thing. Get some more air. Okay, we're good. You know what? Let's be smart about this. Hold on. Um, put down some platforms. Piggy. And let's change out my Violent Charm of Myths for the Armored Moon Shell. And now let's go back in here and become Murpak. Nice and easy. So happy about that. Is that sap sapphires? Yeah, I don't care about sapphires. Those diamonds in my care. We're in the hell biome. We've made it. Okay, let's take off the um, thing. Hold on, let's just let's go inside a house here. Cause there's platforms like crazy in that house. Just makes it easier to put down a piggy. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay, so let's put. Oh, well, chuck, just chuck that. Chuck that. Combine that. You can tell I was doing a lot of stuff with platforms, so. Oh, you know what I forgot? A guide doll. Where on earth will I ever find a guide doll? Oh no. What will I ever do? Hey, buddy! Let's do it with the, pl the Paladins thing this time. I've already done it with the other one. I want to see if we can kill a death. spirits of light and dark have been released. No kidding. What did I get out of it? Just out of curiosity. Well, got the pawn hammer, of course. Oh, there it is. Ranger emblem. Now, I've actually already done the thing to... I, I've, I've killed enough of them to get all the emblems. I already combined it into the final item. And then added that final item to something else. And then, and then completely forgot what it is. So... I don't actually need the Ranger's Emblem, but it's better than the... I think I think it's... If I want to make a second one, I did need the Ranger's Emblem for a second one. But that's nothing else. It's, it's just neither here nor there. Okay, so now we need to find Underground Corruption and get some i stuff. Or not Underground Corruption. Underground Crimson. Excuse me. So let's see. Which way should we go? I know the crimson was under here before. We could just go there. But there's no guarantee that that's actually going to be crimson. That's the thing. The crimson is going to go in, an, in a V-shape here and a V-shape here. And a V-shape here and a V-shape here. But there's no way of knowing which side is going to be which. Well... Hmm. And it still takes it a second. Uh, 
Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't need that either. Why am I carrying that around? I'm an idiot. Did I did I leave the uh, piggy bank open? Yes, I did. Let's just put that away. We don't need to accidentally trigger Pumpkin Moon while we're here. That would be kind of a bad thing. While I'm thinking of it, I have all these um, mudstone blocks. If I can find an, an obsidian workbench, I can probably turn them back into regular blocks. Which, there are a ton of here. I remember the, there being obsidian workbenches all over the place. I don't feel like making one. I really don't. I don't feel like making a workbench. Plus, we got time to kill. I could use another one of these things. Give me that. Bookcase. Bed. Door open, please. Thank you. Corruption doesn't spread to snow, but it does spread to ice. To whomever just asked, uh, said that. And and so does Crimson. There's one. Okay. Stone wall, dirt wall, mudstone. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Yeah, we can chuck those ones. Chuck this. Chuck this. Chuck this. I can keep that. It's fine. Ah, chuck that. Anything else I can chuck? How about all the dirt? Chuck the dirt. I got tons of dirt. Okay. You want to stop? Thank you. Irritating. Okay. Okay, uh, let's just go up a little bit now. Go back to where we came down, dig a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left, and see what showed up. Where'd I come down? Right here. There we go. Let's just put a torch right there. Just heard a change in music for a second there. There it is! There it is! Okay. Crimson is to the left. Okay, so we gotta go left. Oh, look at it all. Look at it all! That's what we're looking for right there.